as Vilgrath is hitting uh, Dan, uh, Devena, you hear a bit of a commotion inside. Okay, where is the bartender going? Bartender is running basically away. I am following him. <laughs> okay. I don't trust that he's not the murderer. Okay. So I, by the way, as I get up to follow him, I press the digitation myself off. All right. So that I'm not mud everywhere. What and muddy? Yeah. Uh, it's about. I don't know. Fifth. By myself, but. I know you. It's about thirty-five minutes in. From when you guys went into the inn and then went upstairs. You guys banging? Yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't get to do that scenario, did we not? <laughs> so are we just rewinding time right now? I mean, and you just need to know if you're still so, at it or yeah. done. Yeah. They need to know our starting. So you can uh, gauge whether we hear anything or not. <laughs> so while in the process of seducing you, I decided to pull back and say, How do you feel about me, Ogar? Well, I know I'm just not you, but I'm starting to have real feelings for you. Then why are you never on my side? Why am I not on your side? You always take the Venice side. <laughs> Well, I guess you're right. It just know. would be nice for you to maybe have known and be on my side. I feel connected with you, and I haven't been connected since. Oh, I shouldn't talk about that. Mm. Well. Yeah, I will. Aren't you gonna ask me about what happened? Well, if you want to talk about it, I wasn't gonna. If you know, baby. Sure. <laughs> Go where this leads. It's it's just that. You remember how I used to work for the Nettles? Yeah. They, they have something of mine. And I have to get something of theirs to get it back. And I think maybe you can help me with that. It's still the blueprints, huh? That's why I'm here. Why don't we just take what is yours? And say screw them. Well, I tried that, but then I didn't want to do that. Well. So maybe if we get another opportunity, maybe you'll help me convince her that that's what we should do. Yeah. Oh, God. And then we have to be a kiss. Oh. It's our first kiss, by the way. Oh. I totally don't feel like we're all gonna die here. <laughs> I'm doing the inner cut of these two scenes. <laughs> yeah. Pacing. Yep. Interesting. Very, very interesting pacing choices we got here. So that's in the first, like, what, Probably 10 minutes? Five, 10 minutes, yeah. yeah. Going back to you guys in your fight. <laughs> uh, Monty. So, yep. um, based on my homework that I did. Hey. hey, hey. So, um, the way Monty works, I guess, is that, uh, I, I, I can use one of my actions to give him a command to do something. Um, otherwise, he's only going to attack unless someone's, like, straight up, uh, like, already attacking me kind of thing. Okay. So, um, is anyone straight up, like, running towards me with an axe right now? Not right now. Okay. Then, then he's not going to do anything. He's just going to stay by me um, mm -hmm. with his turn. And then I'm going to have to use my turn to tell him to do something. <laughs> Is that an action or a bonus action? 
Uh, it's an action, uh, but I have extra. I have two now that I'm level five, okay. so I get one for me and one for him, or two for me. So what what type of ranger did you go with again? Beastmaster. Beastmaster. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you that oh, dear. Hello, phone. No. Yeah, you Maybe. should be. Probably the not. one in the player's handbook or yeah. the one in the extra little bit. Player's handbook. Okay. We're gonna have to change that. Okay. Nothing strictly wrong with it, just it sucks. Okay. So. <laughs> I, I already, I already kind of knew that my character was sort of like underpowered at the moment, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> and your character kind of bumps up your all strength. my stuff and everything. Yeah, probably. Uh, I'm, I'm slow, <laughs> but learning stuff. Uh, anyway, so it's, I'm assuming it's my turn now, right after Monty's. Uh, nope. No. Mm. So uh, he does nothing. He does nothing with his turn. He's just freaking out. <laughs> So, (laughs) the halfling woman, uh, she... I'm not even going to do all that myself. I'm going to die. (laughs) Probably. Nah, you're like the only one who's not fighting or getting banged, so... I see your chances of dying are low. Uh, I have no health. Oh. You are a small child. Wait, you haven't healed? No, I, I am she healed. She doesn't just have a lot of health in general. Probably have less than every one of you. How much do you have? What is my max? 22? 22. Uh, yeah. that's, that's more than me. Oh, really? Oh, I forgot! You're all sorts of glass. But I'm by myself. I told you Trinity was useless. What? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> Check, your pocket. Check your pockets, bro. She is so hard and so fast. Is. And and those. I don't yeah. keep anything on me. <laughs> I'm a monk. No, but now there is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. In your mm-hmm. pocket that wasn't uh, there halfling. <laughs> the halfling woman. She's uh. Now that the traveling cloak is off, you see she's wearing uh, scale mail armor, and she has a a mace at her side, and you can see, uh. There's a fairly, it's an interesting pattern. It's it's a necklace uh, that goes down. Uh, it has like nine little chain braids that go down. And then there's like a little ring that connects the nine braids. And then each of the nine uh, chains, they go and are spread out across her chest. And at the end of each of the nine chains is a like a da- like a spike, like bondage status. Sort of. It, lo- it looks kind of like a whip. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Is it like a cat of nine tails? Yeah. Like metal. Go ahead. Jewelry. Make uh, and terrifying. Is anyone <laughs> proficient in religion here? Nope. It's my nope. No, that nope. was me. Uh, the not paladin. paladin. Kithri is not proficient in religion. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, y'all suck, man. All right. Uh, so it means nothing. To she us. <laughs> she starts speaking some words, and you see uh, this sort of the room kind of grows dark directly surrounding her. And as she's speaking, uh, she looks at you, seeing you attack first and do some damage and she thrust her hand towards you and go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. 16. Uh, that'll save. Oh. But... Wow. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah. I'm optimistic. (laughs) Could have been all D4s. Yeah, but he rolled like three times. That was at least 64, so that could be like 20 some odd damage. (laughs) And he's still coming down. (laughs) You take 24 points of necrotic damage. Ugh! I would have killed some me. of us. Yeah, me. Except it's necrotic. Yeah, her as well. Wait, does that mean it's not going to kill you? I have resistance. Ah, so it's not going to kill you, but it's going to kill you. But 24 points, would have. Okay. Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> she, <laughs> she lets out a grin. <laughs> Uh, She's just the bringer of good things. I don't like the little. Back to you guys. Where are we in the you, timeline? Is, you, that, is it the same time? So, uh, you guys, uh, I guess, are talking a bit more, sort of opening up about your feelings, I'm, guess, I'm yeah, guessing. Probably. Uh, you hear uh, an unearthly scream of someone who probably has gone through the most amount of pain they've ever felt in their entire life. It sounds like... Oh! Yeah. It, it smells... <laughs> it, it, it sounds... Yes, it smells. It sounds like Velgrath. Ow! Uh, so, I'm going to have you go ahead and roll initiative right now. Okay. 20. But it's not natural. Yeah, I was literally staring at the space just above your left. <laughs> <laughs> Those tiny little hills right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm just zoning out at that. <laughs> I gotcha. Okay. Uh, so now Dan, uh, he finally sort of recovers from uh, what you just did to him, and he actually just he disengages. Uses a disengage action, and he runs across the bar to try to get away from you guys. Uh, his so he uh, that doesn't provoke anything because he's no, using he disengage. disengage action. Yeah. Uh, Chris, his brother, uh, pulls out. He doesn't have a whole lot of weapons, but he pulls out uh, a knife that he had basically on his hip, uh, and runs toward Kithri and starts to tries to stab at her. Yes, run toward the thing that just lit things on fire. <laughs> Nothing mean Monty you're just sitting in the middle of this like <laughs> Well technically all of this happens at once. I know. <laughs> like six seconds guys. Six seconds is fine. But it's still still in six seconds of me and Monty just being like hmm? <laughs> uh he takes one swing at Kithri, and uh, the knife actually does slash across her chest, and it ends up doing six points of damage to her. Did you try to do something? It hasn't been my turn yet. I have rolled the lowest initiative. Wait, no. I think we missed her turn. Nope. Yeah. Not her turn yet. Yeah, Why no. did... Oh, no, it wasn't your turn I, again. No. Okay, never mind. Nope, I haven't. I, 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 yeah, no. <laughs> It's funny, these people are attacking everyone else except for me and Monty. I'm not even there, like, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no wonder I don't know what's happening. I'm not there. This is what happens when you buy drinks for people. They attack you last. This is what happens when you don't listen to Trinity. <laughs> what did Trinity say? Exactly. All you said was it's all good. You Everything's said something. fine. I was waiting for you to invite me to join you, but no, you didn't even say that. To, to join us upstairs? Never mind. Because <laughs> I mean, that's the way you want to swing. <laughs> Guy with the big axe <laughs> comes running, screaming at uh, be you, at Amadine. Oh, uh, there you go. I was feeling like. <laughs> uh, slashes down at you, uh, AC 12. Does that hit you? What's your AC? My, my AC acrobatics? No, that no. is your armor class. Oh, my armor class is 15. Yeah. Uh, slashes down, you uh, step back a bit and goes into the table. He lifts up the axe again and attacks one more time, and that's a natural one. Uh, he does the same thing and sl uh, slams it into the table, and he gets it stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love those natural ones. Right. Uh, the half elf woman. Uh, She's a little bit more cautious, but she has her two hand axes out and she runs behind him and attempts to flank you yeah. and slashes at you one time. Natural 20. 
Oh, oh no. Uh, slash to you it's again. So dexterous and acrobatic. I can't, like, weasel out of there. Non natural 20. <laughs> Not a natural 20. And she's dueling, so she natural slashes at you one more time. 21. Oh. So, three times. 20 and crit. 20 and 21. 21. You got to end up. Is that like 60 damage? No, 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 that's damage. That's just two hit. I was about to say, I was trying to like determine four, whether one, she hits you. Nine. <laughs> and then just roll one. She's gonna hit me. That got you. We're doing the hit roll, and we haven't done the And one of them hit roll good. Yeah, it did. Probably got me somewhere around here. Useful parts of my body. Just need a piece. All that, all that space right there. Very important. Ever notice, like, Game of Thrones, that there's not a lot of neck armor? It is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so... She slashes into your thigh, and then that uh, the natural twenty she uh, comes into to try to get into your neck, but you manage to pull up a little bit, and it hits into your shoulder instead. Uh, and then for the third one, she takes the one out of your thigh and swings again at, at the same thigh. Fast little thing. Uh, Fast yeah, little baby thing. girl's got hit. Damn. Ends, up, ends up doing a total of twenty-one points of damage to you. She's attacked by angry little half Adam lady. I'd be dead. Twenty-one. Be Twenty-four. <laughs> you would be unconscious. Oh, not dead. No. You're not well, dead until you fail the death saving. So basically, if I, yeah, like this is bleeding oh, really bad, <laughs> and I, this whole arm is probably out of commission mm-hmm. right now. Like I am I'm very. Uh-huh. If things don't go well, I will be dead soon. <laughs> so Devena, you, I, it's only been a few seconds since you started decided to start following the guy, and you're hearing all sorts of screams coming from the bar. Fireballs! <laughs> I will pull myself away from the bartender, <laughs> keeping mark of where he's running, and run back into the tavern. And useless people, and then I'll probably die. Gonna I go ahead. Pull out my wings though. As okay. I'm gonna have you make a uh, roll for initiative. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have zero now for initiative. Twelve. Okay. Uh, That's what happens when your dex is ten. Oh, and I'm pulling my wings out. I should mark that. Right. And one more guy, actually. Yep. Uh, this guy, he has the sword and the dagger. He comes in to try to attack uh, Kithri as well. Uh, trying to get two people on kit three. A natural 19 and a natural 16. Uh, so. I don't think we're going to win this fight, guys. Y'all can win. Thanks. <laughs> uh, does six on the first hit and then seven on the second hit. So 13 points of damage to kit three. All right, uh, Amadine, your turn. I have a question about the layout of the bar. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it is shaped like Surroundings are really important. Um, is it's one story or two? So it's two stories. Is, is uh, there a, a, a is the second story completely enclosed or is it like a lot? It's space? pretty much enclosed. Yeah. Yeah. There's no like balcony that overlooks my no. space. Gotcha. High ground. I need it. I don't like being inside when people are fighting me. I'm not used to that. I'm and used to trees. So you've actually generally found that high ground, it doesn't necessarily help you. Just not in it. I'm so but close yeah, to them. You're not used to being in the shit. Yeah. <laughs> Usually Monty's like taking that shit from me and I'm yeah. getting ranged. <gasps> Tip. Um... <laughs> Okay, all right, cool. So, uh, oh, fudging awesome. I'm so okay. So, I'm angry at this tiny lady who just cut me up really effing bad. <laughs> so, I scream at Monty to attack her. I'm like, my, my shoulder. Uh, 
And your thigh, over your thigh. Yeah, it's, well, that one, it's not in there anymore, but it's gushing blood. <laughs> You're just gushing <laughs> everywhere. I'm really bleeding a lot. It's 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 a Kill Bill movie, as you know. Um, so, uh, 1d6 is for Monty's bite as yes. my first action. Uh, so, why would I write it like that? <laughs> so, four is to hit. Uh, oh no, 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 plus three to hit. Four, you're never ever gonna pay attention to. Okay, cool. That so is that, the average awesome. for the creature, but you don't get to use that. Cool, cool, cool. Just making sure. Yeah. So, five for that. Yeah, that misses. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm oh Monty. <laughs> My sweet boy. You try it. Um,. So I'm um, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab one of my short swords and my belt then because this hand was holding a mug and now it's just not <laughs> it's not holding anything anymore. So I'm gonna pull out my short sword and uh, she's is she within arm's reach of me? Yeah. Okay. Then then yeah I I stab it. Okay. Uh, that you. Wait. Okay. That says one six plus three. That's the damage. You need to figure out if it hits first. Oh, yeah. thank you. Did you roll the twenty for Monty? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I made these mistakes. I have to live with them. <laughs> okay. Now you know. Now I know. Putting putting my notes there. Putting all that. <laughs> okay. So uh, to set seventeen. To that out of order. Yeah. Three, three, no, whatever your damage Thank is. you. It's been two weeks, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Got a little rusty. <laughs> Nine. Okay. Six. That plus three. Oh, no. Okay. That's <laughs> fair, though. <laughs> be like, wait, are you sure? So, yes. She has uh, been drinking a lot. Well, just a couple beers. I've seen her. That's true. I mean, she <laughs> always. Does. But yeah, she's got a high tolerance. Like one beer to her is just like that's my breakfast. Basically archer level? <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> she just really like that's how she bonds with people. She's like, we're gonna drink together and we'll be best friends afterwards, okay? And we'll all wake up in bed together. It'll be great. Anyways. <laughs> now I see Unlikely. That. I might not survive this. No one is invited you. <laughs> Okay, right. so nine nine damage to, to, to angry little lady. Okay. Uh, do you get another attack? Uh, no, because I fucked up my first one. <laughs> That's it. All right. Uh, well, those are the two actions I get, and then I don't know what I can do with a bonus action that might be helpful, like... Run. Do you have spells? Do any spells take a bonus action? Uh, ooh. Like Hunter's Mark? Hunter's Mark's or... bonus? I didn't do Hunter's Mark. <laughs> the only the only attacking spell I have is ensnaring strike, strike. Yeah, but it takes you have to successfully hit for that. I think first, yeah. and I'd yeah. have to pull out my bow and arrow, and then I also yeah, have yeah. to cast it. And cure wounds is an action, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. I didn't bother to write it down because I assumed that I'd just get out of well, battle and then cure my wounds, but now I kind of do it in the battle. I could have had the wizard do stuff since I hit it with the flurry. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, well, next time. If there is next time. <laughs> if there is. Uh, so, <laughs> Amadine, now it is Kaylee's turn. Oh, let's see what she does. Arrested Druid. I was uh, Yeah. Kaylee. Uh, she looks at all of you, sort of surveys the battle, and then kind of backs away. Is there yet? Not yet. Okay. Uh, backs away from, uh, the table, because she's between the two of you. Takes a deep breath, and turns into a giant crocodile. Giant crocodile, not just a little. Does she seem an order of size larger than everyone? She does. Oh. She hit her head on She's on the ground now. Oh. She's, she's a crocodile orientation. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Uh, but she does not attack this round. 
Yeah, that takes a lot of energy. <laughs> Turn to Kayla, you don't have to do this. Uh, well, so she does. Trinity. Well, might actually see which way the tide of battle is going before choosing a sign. You have sort of busted through, uh, ran through the door that you ran with Ulfgar. Uh, it's, I mean, upstairs isn't that big. There's probably 15 feet. You're naked. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you ran downstairs. You're gonna naked? have a minus to your armor, ma'am. So you don't. You're not wearing armor right now. So it's all good. Okay. Uh, so you run to the stairs, and then <laughs> that's about go? 20 feet. And then if you want to get down the stairs, it's another 15 feet or so. Well, I think. Um, do I hear that there's a fight going? Yeah. Oh yeah. There's no like, cloak or anything. He's he's. Really there's just the cloak. Okay. Do you? I mean, you have your weapons. Do you I do not. Okay. Useless. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. Everything will be fine. Yeah. Comes down a waves at everybody. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of just just peek down. All right. So I mean, you run and then go downstairs and you survey the situation downstairs. Uh, you see. Lots of weapons. I mean, you see six people and the rest of your group, minus Devena, uh, fighting it out. You also see a giant crocodile. Five so five people and a giant crocodile. Or I'm alone. Uh, Ulfgar, are you... Okay. Ulfgar is right behind you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to turn to Ulfgar and just say, they're probably fine. <laughs> Got that. This <laughs> town. So I mean, you you do feel the urgency, like you are prone to be more mellow, definitely. But oh, it's not that strong. But it's not like someone's. Yeah, you do realize your life is in danger right now. Self-preservation. Okay. Yeah, person. that changes things. Then in that case, I'm gonna run back to the room and get my my stuff. Okay. <laughs> so I mean, oh, we can say goodness. we can say that I mean, you you heard the sounds of battle, you realized shit was going down, you grabbed your stuff, then ran to where you were. Okay. 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 So we just wrecked on that. <laughs>